In this video, we'll learn how to work with dimensions and measures. Also, we'll see what is the difference between discrete and continuous part. Now, whenever you connect a Tableau with any database system, that database will have some textual and also the numerical values. Whatever are the textual values, let's say as order ID, let's say you have your name, country name, anything that will be converted into your dimensions, the anything which is textual. Whatever is your numerical values or the numbers that will be converted into the measures part. So if you observe here, I am connected to Global Superstore 2017. That database has multiple textual and has the numerical values. Whatever is the textual that has been converted to dimensions and they have been categorized here. Most of them, whatever the numbers are been selected as measures. Tableau is very smart to distinguish between both of them and it will be separated into different segments. Now it happens most of the time, but sometimes there are some exceptions. You have to take care about it. Now that is the difference between dimensions and the measure itself. Let's see the next one, which is discrete versus continuous. Now, whatever you see the blue icon everywhere, if you see that's a date text and the uh, global symbol, which is given here, these are the blue colors, which says these are discrete here on the down portion. If you see that's given in the green color, which says it is continuous. Now, what is the major difference between discrete and continuous? Remember, whenever you pick up anything from the discrete area and you pick up, that will be same. It will be distinguished. Whatever you pick up from the measures, that will be in the aggregate functions. Let us see practically. If I pick up here the category part and if I drop into this rows, you see the name or the label has changed. It didn't change. It is same as it is category. And if you observe, these are the different categories which are given here. So they are distinguished itself. Whereas if I drop it outside like this, and if I pick up this green color, which is a continuous field or continuous spill, if I drop it here, it will be aggregated. How do I come to know it is aggregate or not? If you see, there's a sum bracket sales from here, I have picked up sales, but when I drop it here, it's saying as sum of sales. That means it is aggregating into different functions, sum, minimum, maximum, average. These are the different aggregate functions. So there's one more difference, which I can show you if I pick up and drop it here. And if you observe the color difference between both of them, whatever pills are the uh, discrete, those will be in the blue color, whatever pills, that means the fields, which I'm talking about pills means the fields, whatever fields or pills you have in this green color, those are nothing but continuous. So this one category is a discrete. The green color is nothing but a continuous. What is the difference between them? Discrete will have the separate distinguished parts and sections, whereas the sum of sales or whatever is continuous will be aggregated functions like sum, minimum, maximum, average, so on. Now let us see in detail how we can distinguish when we work with different bar charts, map charts and so on. Let's see that. So I'll just go to this color bar chart where I don't have anything. So I'll just pick up this category and drop into this. I'll pick up the subcategory and drop into this rows and I'll pick up this sales and I'll drop into this columns part, right? And I'll just sort it in the descending order itself. Now, what happens when you try to color this chart, that's a coloring or bar chart. When you put a discrete field and when you put a continuous field, what happens? I'm, I'll be picking up any discrete field from here in the dimensions. Let's say I'll pick up the category. If I pick up the category and if I drop into this colors part, if you observe separate colors are been given to each category. What are those categories? These are different categories itself. What I've picked up, I've picked up the dimension put into the colors. So I'm getting separate colors. I'll remove this outside. Now, if I put some continuous field, if I just pick up and drop into this area, what will happen? You'll not get separate colors. You'll be getting this, you know, the gradient color itself, the light blue, dark blue, and so on. So these are the gradient colors, which you can pick up and use into your place itself. So that is the first difference between using a color on the bar graphs. So remember what you're using it based on this colors. Also, you can identify whether it's a continuous or discrete. This one is a continuous field because it's a gradient. If you pick up anything from here like this, if I pick up anything from here and put into this colors part, you see separate colors will be given for each one and I can easily identify. Okay. So I'll just remove this. I'll keep it. It looks good. Next, if I want to show you color on maps by measures, what is the difference between that? So color on the maps. So first of all, I need to create a map here. How do I create it? Double click on the state and this would be the colors, which are, I mean, the map would be created. Now I'm talking about color on maps by the measures. 
So anything if I pick up from the measures part, let's say if I pick up the sales and if I drop into this colors part, you observe what will happen. I'll be getting again a gradient field which will say as light blue and dark blue itself. So for me, it is easy to understand when I pick up some measures or you can say it is nothing but a continuous field. I'm picking some continuous field and measure. They both are now the same right now. It can be also different itself. So right now it's saying as gradient color. But on the other hand, when I pick up this measures, it is giving me gradient color. When I pick up anything from the discrete or you can say as from the dimensions, what will happen? So if I pick up the color on the maps by dimensions, so first thing is I'll double click on the state. And now I'll pick up anything, let's say I'll pick up the category and I'll drop into this colors part. And if you observe here, what will happen? I'll be getting a symbol graph itself. You see, that's a symbol graph. I'm not getting the filled map itself. You see, that's a symbol, symbol map itself. So when you put color on map by dimensions, you'll be getting different symbols. When you put color on map by dimensions, uh, by measures, you'll be getting this filled area and you can easily recognize the higher and lowest value itself. So these are something. Uh, by the measures and by the dimensions. Let's see one more difference how to work with the filters with dimension measures. Now when you have some graph and you're using either from the dimensions or measures, what is the difference? Let's see. First of all, I'll just create here subcategory into the rows. I'll pick up the sales into this columns and I'll sort into the descending order. So this is the bar graph, horizontal bar graph which I've created. Now, if I want to work with the dimensions and measures, if I pick up here and if I put into filter, see the difference. If I pick up the option as category, that is the, uh, you can say the discrete part. And if I drop into the filters part, you will be getting a dialog box which says pick up the exact values which you want. So there are three different sections in that you can say category, furniture, office supplies, technology. So I can pick up any one value and I can just select and click on OK. So I'll select as furniture, click on OK and only furniture would be displayed. That is one method using this discrete function. I'll remove this. I don't want this one. If I use this continuous part, continuous field itself, if I pick up this sales and if I drop it here, I'll not get the same dialog box. I'll be getting a dialog box which will say, do you want the based on the row values or based on this aggregate function? So if, if I pick up the aggregate function, let's say sum, and if I click on this next, now I'll be getting a range of values which I can pick up. These are the different range of values, minimum value, maximum values, and some special consideration. So here I have got a bar graph, uh, you can see the scroll bar, which I can select based on the values I can pick up. So I can just remove this and minimize or maximize the values. Let's say I can pick up any one value from here and click on apply. Okay, right now I'll click on cancel. So that's a major difference. When you pick up any discrete function, exact values will be given. What do you want to filter? Here, they'll not give you the exact value. It will give you the range of values which you want to filter. So that's a major difference between this uh, discrete and the continuous part, right? So I hope you're able to understand what is the difference between dimensions and measures. What is the difference between the discrete and the continuous part? I've shown you different examples on the bar graph and the map chart. I hope you're able to understand. That's all for this video.